actually here in the uh, WIND uh, studio, I do a, a radio show on Sunday nights called Live in Large, The Man Show, and I'm recording while I'm here in the studio today. Uh, today's Friday, June the 10th. Um, I thought today a great subject to talk about would be uh, ordering wine in a restaurant. And I know, I've been, I've been in the business, as I've, as I've told you before, 35 years, and I've, I've seen all kinds of people, and they're beginners and experts in terms of their wine knowledge, but a good percentage of Americans are extremely intimidated by a wine list. And it doesn't matter if it's a one-sheet wine list or you get one of those, you know, encyclopedia volumes with leather cover on it that's got a thousand wines in it or more. It's a difficult thing. You know, you've, you're, uh, often if, if you're out to dinner, say, uh, you and your wife or girlfriend are out with another couple and, and, and somebody thinks you know a little bit more about, uh, more about wine, They'll say, oh, you take the wine list, and, you'll, and you, now you got to try and impress somebody. You don't want to mispronounce a, a name and be embarrassed. There's all kinds of things that go along with that. So I thought I'd give you a few tips on what you can do. Um, the first thing is, always remember that at a restaurant, there's somebody there that knows more about wine than you do, more than likely, unless you're an expert like me. And, uh, and ask for help. There's nothing wrong. There, there, there's a, you know, a good restaurant will have a sommelier. He's educated in wine. He understands the wines on his list. He's tried numerous wines on his list. Maybe he even puts the wines together and puts the list together. He's going to be able to tell you a lot about the list. If there's not, there's always somebody, a server, that's passionate about wine and can talk about wine. So that's the first thing. The second, the second thing is that what you need to think about is um, the food and wine pairing. Now, often in America, it used to be, you know, white wine went with uh, kind of fowl and pasta and those type of things, red wine, lighter style red wines with, with fowl, uh, uh, ham, things like that. And the bigger, the, the, the heavier the meat, the heavier the wine. And that's a general rule you can stick with. It always works. But what gets complicated sometimes is what if you get, you've got four people at the table and somebody's ordering pasta and somebody's ordering chicken and you've got somebody ordering a steak and, and uh, somebody's ordering lasagna. So you've got to try and make everybody happy if you're only going to order one bottle of wine. And that's another question. How, many, how much wine do you order for four people? A, wine, a bottle generally will give you a, a glass and a half for three people. So with four people, you may need two bottles. Two bottles may be too much. But that's a decision you'll have to make. But let's say like that scenario where you've got you've got the four dishes, you're better off probably ordering a bigger style white that will make almost everybody happy except for the steak guy, or a lighter style red. Bigger style white would be a Chardonnay that's got a big you know oaky, uh, aged wood aged Chardonnay, and and reds would be a Pinot Noir or maybe a Merlot. So that would help you there. The other thing you want to think about is what price range you want to be at. So, you know, look at the list. The list has a lot of different price ranges. Think about when you, before you, you, you go out to dinner, how much do I want to spend on wine tonight? That will help you with your selection. A well-written wine list will include, the, 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 obviously, the name of the wine, the producer, the vintage, uh, maybe even uh, some suggestion on food and wine pairings. That should help you. If you're not sure how to pronounce a name and you think that's what you want, often they'll have a number next to it, the bin number. Order it by the bin number. If they don't have a bin number, when the waiter comes on, just use your finger. Point to it. That way you won't be embarrassed if you don't know how to pronounce it. And, and these are all little tips that you can do. What will happen is your server will then bring you the bottle. They'll show you the bottle. Uh, make sure it's what you ordered. Make sure it's the vintage that was on there. Sometimes a vintage will be changed and it makes a big difference. Um, server will, once you uh, give them approval, they'll open the bottle for you and they'll pour you a little bit of wine. They'll probably give you the cork. What do you do with the cork? You know, are you supposed to smell the cork? Or you, you don't need to smell the cork, but feel it, and if, it should be moist. If it's dried out, that's, that's not a good thing for the aging of the wine and how it's been stored. But uh, uh, they'll give you a little bit of wine in a glass. Look at the color. If it's an older wine, it may be a little brown around the edges and a little bit, uh, 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 you know, tan in color. And uh, if it's a, it's a, a young, youthful wine, you'll see a little vibrancy in the color. Swirl it and smell it, and if it smells good, if it smells like vinegar, there's something wrong with the wine. Um, and then you give the if if everything's good, you give the uh, you give you give the uh, the waiter the okay to pour the wine, and that's really all you got to do. I'm going to say one other thing. Every so often, a wine is corked, and what that means is that the cork did not do its job. When you smell the wine, you're going to smell it. 
you're going to smell like a, a corky, like cardboardy smell. And when you taste it, it's going to taste like cardboard in your mouth. If you taste that, tell the waiter, something's not right with the wine. I think it may be corked, and I'd like you to take it back. Often they may just take it back on an ounce. Sometimes they'll make a little bit of a stink about it. Ask them to taste it. And the one other thing I'm going to tell you, if they say, oh, well, it's not that bad, because they'll do that. A lot of times they don't want to deal with trying to send a bottle back to their vendor. Say, no, it's unacceptable. I'd like another bottle. Maybe even consider buying something else. Hope this helps you next time you're out to dinner. And uh, that's it for today. I'm Tom Jarris from the International House of Wine and Cheese and our online company for 4FORWineLovers.com. Have a great day.